Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm, uh, I'm Steve Yike. I'm with Local Splash. And we're going to be talking about uh, local SEO. And that also includes mobile and social. Right, so this gentleman had asked earlier, you know, who's this applicable to? It would be any, wh whether it's your business or if you're an agency perhaps that has clients that want to be found in local search, right? Whether that's a local plumber, attorney, dentist, or if it's a, even a big national brand, uh, this would be applicable, right? You want them found in, in search results. If that matters to you, uh, then this would be the session for you. And feel free to ask questions as we go. And we'll also have time at the end, I hope, for some additional questions at the end. All right, so just to sort of frame what we're going to talk about, it's uh, kind of two big pieces around, you know, local. There's the SEO, search engine optimization, which focuses on the maps and organic. That's really the focus of this presentation. There's also SEM, the pay-per-click, uh, localized targeting specific areas. Um, we also do some of that, but we, we're mainly here going to talk about the, um, the map and organic because, frankly, the, the locally targeted PPC is pretty simple, right? Uh, Google, Yahoo, and others have figured out good ways to geo-target and you bid for whatever you want to pay as your maximum uh, price per click, and you're off and running. Uh, what's not as clear um, and, frankly, is, is tougher, right, because it's part science, part art, is how do you get found in the map results? How do you get found in the organic local results? Right, so why does it matter? Right, because 90% of all consumers are going online these days to find local products and services. Right, the Yellow Pages is in decline. Uh, I think every single, not every single, and virtually all the, the traditional Yellow Page companies are either in bankruptcy now or have just recently come out of bankruptcy. It's a declining business, to say the least. When you look at the metrics, 7 billion local searches were done in the U.S. alone in June. Right? And about a third of all the searches done on all the search engines have a local intent, right? either something explicit or implicit. Right? So if someone types in plumber and they're in Houston, even if they don't put you know, Houston in that search, very likely you know, plumber, attorney, probably looking for a local business. So that would be an implicit example. All right, so, and again, here, this also demonstrates the importance of it. You can see real estate in the search engine results page is devoted to the seven pack and to some organic results, right? Uh, uh, well, eight months, nine months ago, this map used to be over in the left-hand side that's now taking up less real estate over here. And it's also pushed down some of these PPC ads, which is sort of interesting because, uh, you know, Google actually took a financial hit by pushing down and showing fewer ads to make room for the map uh, because they felt it was a better user experience to have more of that real estate devoted to the map and organic results. So clearly, I think that's the right decision. Um, certainly, that was what Google felt is, you know, have a, a great user experience and favor that over, uh, even over short-term revenue. And speaking of Google, it's clear. So the, the blue line here is the Google map traffic. And then all the others, which, of course, you can hardly even see here, right? Yellow Pages is the red line. Super Pages is yellow. Yahoo Local's in green. Yeah, again, virtually you know, imperceptible down here in terms of their traffic. And again, this line is, is Google. So clearly, uh, Google is far and away the, uh, the market share leader when it comes to local. Um, although Bing is actually uh, increasing. It's not shown here in this data, but Bing's actually have a, a heading a, a slight uptick recently. But, um, and we'll talk more about this, but as you think about, you know, for you or your clients, where are you going to start? Start with Google, right? And then Yahoo, then Bing, and some of the others that we'll talk about. Right, so why do you want to claim your local listing, right? Because your local listing is probably already out there. So that's kind of the good news here, right? Probably exists for your business in the search engines because InfoUSA and Axiom Local Ease, the, what we call the core data providers, they provide that to uh, Google, Bing, and Yahoo, right? So there's a business there or there's some information about a business, but the bad news is uh, probably about a third of those listings are inaccurate, right, which is going to hurt your search engine uh, ranking and performance, right? If search engine sees conflicting data, right, slightly different street address, even something as simple as ST period versus street spelled out can make a difference, right? And the more those are the same and consistent and the same everywhere on, on the web, the more the search engines are going to like it. So the bad news is that very likely your listing, if you haven't claimed it and gone through that PIN verification process, it's probably got some erroneous data in it, which is hurting your rankings. All right, so let's look at a real example. So this is a Google Places 
uh, page, although they actually have a slightly different uh, view these days. Um, but this gives you a sense, this is a gourmet uh, coffee, Miami, Florida is the search term. And here's an example of Miami uh, gourmet coffee distributors. You can see they've only got one category shown, which is Tea House. Right? We'll talk more about categories. Uh, they've got no logos, no pictures, no videos, pretty, uh, pretty bland, no reviews, right? So there's not much there, which is why they had very low rankings previously. Now here's that same business, but with the sort of content you should put in your listings, right? So here it's got a logo, it's got a lot of uh, images here, it's got reviews, it's got its main category and several others. So that's an example of, um, of again, this happens to be a real client at Local Splash. And they, they had no page one ranking originally, but then with the addition of that rich content that we just looked at, they actually, you know, now uh, when you search Gourmet Coffee Miami FL, they're A in the map, and then they also have three results showing in the organic section, right? So this first one, it's hard to read from in the back, but that's a relevant yellow, that's a directory that we actually publish. And then this is actually a website that we've created for them. And then finally, it, there's a, another result, I'm not sure the source of that result, but they've actually, um, you know, unlike most clients who say, boy, I just want one listing on page one, give me that and I'll be very happy. In this case, they actually have four of the page one listings. So here's some of the tools that we use and anybody can use. You know, there's off-the-shelf tools usually available. You want to, let's say this is an example. Ron Handyman is a plumber uh, in Irvine, California, I think. So we can see on Google 41, Yahoo not there, Bing not there. That's sort of assessing where they're at when they first join us. And then you want to look at, there's other data we can look at uh, as well. And again, there's free tools available when you look at the views and actions to, um, to Google Places the traffic basically for plumber, we can see the green bars here are the views and then the actions are the um, uh, click for driving directions, um, click for more information. Those would be examples of the, the actions that are in that red bar. And then here, and this is very important, so category lookup, right? So here we've got plumber is the main category, water here. So what we've done, and you can either do this manually or with third party tools, you'd like to see your competitors, right? So for in this case, the, the plumber in Irvine's gonna know who they're competing with, and you wanna see where the high ranking competitors are in Google, and in Yahoo, and in Bing. And you wanna just steal their categories, use their categories, right? And you're gonna see that, it, you know, in this case, the water heaters, which for me personally, I wouldn't think, well, shoot, plumber, is that gonna be a, a, a frequently used search term? Well, it is here, right? It says the number two, most popular category of all the competing plumbers with this particular plumber is water heater, right? Water heaters. So we should use that as a category to get high ranking. Some of the advantages, right? Clearly the customers in your local area are looking for businesses online. They're not using Yellow Page as much these days. Uh, the high rankings are po po possible even with just the off website SEO, right? So, you know, you really can get into the map result even if you have no website. Right, we'll talk about there's some advantages on the website as well. Um, and you can get on first page if you know what the best practices are, uh, and this change um, somewhat frequently, right, as Google uh, changes the algorithms and also the way they present the search results. Right, and again, as I mentioned with hybrid here recently, placing more and more weight on some organic results from a website. Um, so you can't completely forget about the, uh, the on-site SEO either. Uh, obviously, you're about and the credibility of the business, they're able to find you, uh, enables you to um, upload content like pictures and logos, etc. And it is affordable, right? So you now here's the catch though, it does require time, right? And if you, you know, if you're with an agency or with a business that is doing this on your own, you know how time consuming it can be, right? Because all these things we're talking about, yes, you should start with Google and that'll get you probably two thirds of all the searches, but you need to think about Yahoo and you need to think about Bing and Merchant Circle and Super Pages and, you know, quite a few others, Yelp, right? And Facebook, right? If you're thinking social, which should be, right? Especially if you're an agency, like I was talking to a lot of agencies today where I said, boy, 
it's hard to explain to my clients, and oh boy, we're doing it in-house, and it's a real pain. And um, anyway, we, we actually work with a lot of partners, a lot of agencies, and, and we'll even do it kind of behind the scenes so that um, no one even knows that local splash is involved. So now let's talk about the offsite. So this is the organic. Of course, you want to be, um, sorry, this is the, uh, these are the places, pages, and, and local. So you're going to claim Google first, Yahoo, Bing, Merchant Circle, and others. Uh, same uh, name, address, phone number. Talk about that. Optimize with fresh data, fresh content, uh, periodically. It doesn't have to be weekly. It certainly doesn't have to be daily, but I'd say a good rule of thumb might be once a month. Get some new video, new photos, etc. And we talked about this as well, look at categories used by the high-ranking competitors and copy them. That's what we do. All right, then on-site, so again, this is really the website itself or at least a landing page. Uh, be thinking about more traditional SEO, right? So um, be thinking about the right keywords. You want to optimize those keywords, have that data in, uh, in the title, in meta tags, et cetera, as well as in the content and copy. Uh, we've talked about Hybrid is actually playing a, uh, placing a much higher weighting on the organic result. Right, so that would be an example, if, as we talked about, if you have no organic uh, rankings at all and it's a hybrid result that will be presented to the consumer, you won't be there. Right? It certainly won't be on the first page. Right, so here's some you optimize too. This is actually quite important. So when we do this for clients the, uh, and they say, well, shoot, I don't have a website, even if they do have a website, we'll build a, um, a landing page or a set of landing pages that, uh, and this is a real client, so plumberandnervine.com is a good example. So it could be attorneyinhouston.com. Google and the other search engines really like to see the type of service or product they're selling and the geographic element as well. So mobile. Right, so mobile is, I think we all know, it's growing rapidly, more and more searches taking place on mobile. In fact, soon, in about three years, they're projecting there'll be more, uh, uh, more activity anyway on place on mobile device than there is on uh, you know, computers and laptops. And even today, it's very critical in some uh, categories like restaurants and gas stations. Right? You really, if you're a restaurant, you know, anything entertainment, you know, restaurants, movies, theater, uh, you really need to be thinking about mobile uh, and gas stations is another good example, right? I mean, I, those are probably the ones I use most often, right? So if, you're, if you or your clients are in those lines of business, you really need to be thinking about getting found in, in, uh, in mobile results, right? And final bullet point here, 90% of mobile search powered by uh, Google Maps, right? So the beauty of getting into Google Places, which is Google Maps, um, is that you will automatically get picked up with mobile searching, right? Even on, uh, saw some data recently, even on the, the iPhone, uh, more, far over half of searches are done on Google, using Google Maps, even on the iPhone. Again, some of the data, 95% um, of people have done this at some point in some category. The second bullet there I think is most interesting, the, sort of the conversion, if you will, from getting a search result to doing something, right? Going to visit that business is 90% in this example. So nine out of 10, people will actually contact or visit the business, which is far, far higher, right, than in traditional search. Again, just think through scenarios. You're looking for a gas station. Well, great, found it. There, there I go. So again, make sure you're in Google Maps and you'll be picked up in mobile search. So you need to be thinking about integrating all of this, right, the offsite, your listings, right, in Google Places, Yahoo, Bing, and all, as well as the, uh, the SEO of the website itself. Again, make sure name, address, phone number in particular and all other data is the same, identical between what you put on a website or landing pages and what is in the Google listing, the Yahoo listing, and the Bing listing. And of course, social media is coming on strong, so Facebook and Twitter, we, you know, that's part of what we do, create a Facebook page, create Twitter, same thing, you know, name, address, phone number, and everything else needs to be consistent. Um, blog, couponing, a lot of things that uh, I think we've known for a while will help, but, you know, you got to keep doing that, plus you need to be thinking about all this work you need to do in Google Places and Yahoo Local or around those listings. And again, we've talked about consistent data. All right, so the best practices do change constantly. Uh, subscribe to you know, Search Engine Land, Mashable, Site Pro News. Uh, Andrew Shotland has a really good uh, newsletter and blog around just local. And you need employees dedicated to doing this, right? Create the fresh content, update, audit, and correct the listings. So again, back to algorithmic changes about nine months ago when Google was going through, they were showing a lot more hybrid results. 
Uh, it looked like for a while hybrid results were coming back in almost every search. Uh, we had a lot of clients actually that were hurt by that, right? So they were falling off the first page because we had optimized them probably more toward the map listings. Um, so we figured out kind of what was going on and we re-optimized. So unfortunately you can't just set it and forget it. Uh, you've got to continually be tracking uh, the ranking. Right? So for our clients every month at a minimum, we do a ranking report. We see, well, you know, if they're, you know, position number three, where are they the next month? Are they moving up, moving down? If they're moving down, we can take some corrective action to get them moving up. Uh, or, so either do it yourself or, and it's all, you know, again, most of this is free, right? Most of this is free. I mean, it's your investment of your time, but there's very little hard cost to doing most of this. Uh, or get a, a local SEO service provider as your partner. Uh, it could be a company, it could be an individual. Uh, make sure that they've got a proven track record of doing it, right? Because there's a lot of companies, uh, and it's actually quite easy to say, well, hey, we do local SEO. And uh, uh, the fact is that you know, there's probably hundreds or thousands of companies that claim to do it, and there's just a handful of us that have done it for any length of time. So that's important. Uh, and kind of the final point, check references. And if someone doesn't have any or any references, then um, you probably want to look elsewhere. So some of the key takeaways, it's really a must have for any brick and mortar business. Right? So this all applies whether it's the local plumber in Houston, uh, the dentist in Austin, or um, extra space storage, which is a real client with 800 locations across the whole country, right? in Austin, in Houston, everywhere. Right? So again, whether you're a, a firm or a, a business uh, with one location or you're representing clients that have you know, a big national brand with thousands of locations, uh, it, it really applies. Uh, and probably the, the, as a percentage, the highest percentage growth of our business is more the national brands, right? Because the national brands have spent the last you know, few years really optimizing their websites and they look great and they've got great dealer locator pages. And then they look and they say, well, shoot, you know, Super Pages has a bunch of bogus data, it's not right, and it differs from what Yellowbot has, which differs from what Google has. Um, help me manage all that, right? So that's the other piece of this, especially for a big enterprise, is going up and kind of cleaning, at, cleaning up the erroneous data that uh, inevitably is out there. The other thing we see, especially with franchise groups, if you've allowed the franchisee to keep this data updated on their own, it's probably a real mishmash, right? Some franchisees are using the right logo, the others are using the logo from 20 years ago. Um, so just kind of, it's really, it's sort of a data cleanup and data management problem for a lot of the big uh, national enterprises. So again, mobile, key takeaways, mobile growing, must have, and you know, it's usually the highest ROI. You know, this is mostly where we see our enterprise clients who are the best at tracking ROI. They come back to us and say, boy, you know, far and away from all the marketing programs, we offer the best return, kind of the bang for the buck. So we're always happy to see that. Uh, but again, it does require focus and attention, um, especially because sort of the best practices keep changing uh, week in and week out. All right, so the one slide that I get to you know, talk about local SPAC, our, our mission is to get businesses on the first page of search results. Right? We've got something called a performance promise. If a business isn't there in six weeks, they actually don't pay us. We'll work for free until they get onto page one. I don't know of any other company that offers that. Uh, we've got over 10,000 clients, both national brands and as well as small mom and pop businesses. And we do have agency reseller programs. Uh, we've got even some number of uh, Houston-based agencies we work with. Uh, and we can either do co-branded or we can be completely behind the scenes. And if you're an agency, you can just offer this up as your branded service uh, if that's what you choose to do. And recently, when I would have been 800, we, um, this is now about a month ago, we're number 84 fastest growing company in the US, which is up from 113 last year. So that's good, and we're the number 11 fastest growing in advertising marketing. In yellow, just for anyone who's interested, you can go and get a free ranking report for you or your client at freerankingreport.localsplash.com. If you have an interest in doing that, and then in a, in a few days or weeks, you'll get a report emailed to you. So that'll give you a sense of some of the analytical data. You'll see rankings on the major search engines. You'll see some category information on um, categories you were using and perhaps you know, how you could better optimize them. 
<laughs> and with that, I've been told to wrap it up. Thanks for your time, and I'll be around for questions if you have questions. Thanks.